You thought walking with your new puppy was simple. You may not have even thought much about it beyond purchasing a leash. Let's make sure that you're giving your puppy the best experience while avoiding mistakes that may need to be corrected later on in training. Hi, I'm Michael Perry with Front Range Dog Training in Boulder, Colorado. In this lesson, you'll learn how to take the lead with your new puppy and get them the walks that they need. We'll establish the right mindset and expectations, identify the equipment you'll need, and talk about what a good walk should look like. Having a clear understanding of the purpose of the walks can help get you through these fun yet demanding puppy weeks. Exploring the world is vital for your puppy's mental and physical development. Doing it with you establishes your role as a parent, teacher, protector, and adventure buddy. These walks combined with your playtime, training time, and puppy play dates will give your puppy all of the mental and physical stimulation they need. Now's a good time to subscribe and follow this channel to receive upcoming videos on puppy playtime, training time, and puppy play dates. Just click on the logo in the bottom right corner to subscribe. It's important for you to set the right expectations for your walk. Remind yourself that the walk is all about allowing your puppy to explore the world at their own pace. Dogs don't naturally know how to walk on a leash without pulling towards things they want to check out. So don't expect it in these early weeks. Just let your dog be a dog. Remember that up until 12 weeks of age, your puppy is still in the primary socialization period. Your job is to show them as much of the world as possible while keeping them safe. You'll want to avoid any situations that might trigger a fear response and remove your puppy immediately if they're showing signs of fear. Now let's go over the tools you'll need. You'll want to use a harness exclusively until you begin formal leash training. Please don't use a collar to walk your untrained puppy. You can have a collar on them with tags, but don't clip a leash to it. Your puppy has a very strong opposition reflex and will naturally fight anything pulling around his or her neck. This creates a battle that's the beginning of your puppy learning to pull and fight you on the leash. It can also result in coughing, choking, and possible structural damage. So just use a harness. Having a collar on while your puppy pulls will also toughen up their neck and desensitize them to touch, making them unresponsive to leash communication later on. I recommend that you purchase the following. A basic harness properly fit for your dog. You don't need a no pull type of harness, just a regular comfortable harness. Make sure it has an attachment point up on the back. You're only going to be using the harness for four to six weeks or until you start formal training and transition to a collar. You'll want a light six foot long nylon leash. I also recommend getting a flexi 26 foot retractable leash. I like the cord version. They're sized for the weight of your dog. Also purchase a 50 to 75 foot long line. This can be either made of paracord or a lightweight braided nylon. You might want to attach a clasp or a carabiner to the end of it. I'll put links to all these items in the video description below. Once you have the right mindset and equipment, the actual technique of walking your puppy is pretty simple. I like to bring my puppy to a park or open space on a retractable leash or the long line attached to their harness and just let them roam. I'll follow them around and just make sure they're not getting into any trouble. I don't want to pull on the leash, so I'll pick them up and move them as necessary. You can also walk your puppy on a leash in the neighborhood. You just need to be more careful about not having any tension on the leash. Just remember to let your puppy explore. You aren't on a mission to get anywhere. This is the time for your puppy to sniff everything. Try not to pull on your puppy unless there's a safety issue. If you have to, just pick him up and move on. The walk is a game of follow the leader and you are the follower right now. Don't worry, that'll change later where we get the puppy to pay attention to you. Take your puppy to as many different locations as possible during these early weeks. It's great mental stimulation and builds a foundation of confidence for encountering new stimuli and situations throughout their lives. Many puppies want to pick up every rock, stick, and piece of junk on the ground. You shouldn't try to correct them for putting things in their mouth, so be proactive in looking out for things you don't want them to eat. And either pick up the objects or pick up your puppy before they get them in their mouth. 
If your puppy constantly eats everything in sight, then talk with your trainer about this. If you choose to allow your puppy to interact with other people and other dogs, make sure that you aren't restraining them while they're trying to approach that person or dog. This creates frustration in the puppy and can increase reactivity in the future. Walk your puppy at least twice a day. Three times is better if you can do it. The duration of each outing will be five minutes for each month of age of your puppy. So that's 10 minutes for an eight-week-old puppy, 15 minutes for a 12-week-old puppy, and 20 minutes for a 16-week-old puppy. Following these guidelines will provide your puppy with the stimulation, both physically and mentally, that they need to develop a healthy relationship with the world and with you. Here's hoping that you and your puppy have a lifetime of adventures together. Please feel free to comment below with your thoughts and questions. And don't forget to subscribe, follow, and like this channel to be alerted when new training videos are posted. Until next time, have fun training.